Hey everybody, it's Gumplamelli. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a featured guest with me today in this room and you're probably going to be seeing and hearing him. So let's see how this video goes. It is... Come here. Come here. Come here. Bowser, the rumbunctious Doberman puppy that I have rescued. Um, yes. Stop. Anyways, so today I have a awesome unboxing and drum roll please, da -da -da -da, a giveaway. I know it feels like it's been a while since I've done a giveaway. So I was like, you know what, let me do one because yeah, I can't, it's been a hot minute since I've given a kit away and I love giving kits away to my subscribers and people that support me. So also, if you haven't noticed, I have a special guest with me today. Here we go. This is Bowser. Come here. Come here. Come here. He is my rescue Doberman puppy, probably about nine months now, so he's a big boy. And um, he is a handful, so it's gonna be kind of interesting to see how this video goes because he's like a baby deer. He's just so big and likes to jump and play all the freaking time. So be good. If not, I'm gonna have to put you outside, okay? All right, so let's get into the goods of today's video. Okay, so first box. Let's take a peek at what's inside, shall we? Bowser loves boxes, so he's definitely gonna be wanting to play with this once I'm done. All this, which I know he's going to want to try to eat. All right, box is fully open finally, and Bowser is over there already destroying the box as we speak. Bowser, no! Be good, please. Okay, so first up is... Okay, so so first in the box is... Is finally this RX-782. I have wanted him for such a long time, and I don't know, more than likely it's because of the pandemic, but I feel like there's a shortage of gumplicates because this guy was like sold out everywhere. And the only place I could find him was eBay, and I was not playing... I'm playing. I was not going to pay exorbitant eBay fees. So he came in stock at New Type, and of course I scooped him up. This is a classic design of the RX-782, which is why I really wanted him. Cause I have a whole bunch of 3.0s and don't get me wrong, I love the 3.0s, but I love the design of these like older master grades. And on top of that, I have a review coming along. I bought a special Bowser. I have a review coming along that I bought a special display. Oops. I bought a special display for this model and it should hopefully be, be arriving in maybe a month or a little bit less than a month. So I'm pretty excited to show you guys this guy with the special stand. I kind of, not stand, display. I kind of don't want to spoil it, but it's pretty freaking awesome and I'm so excited for it to come in the mail. So next up in the unboxing I have here is the new Real Grade Wing Gundam. So you guys all know that I'm a huge Gundam Wing fan. That's what got me into liking Gundams in the first place is watching the show on Toonami. So I, of course, I had to scoop him up to add to my collection. Now, as you guys know, I am not the biggest fan of Real Grade. I just, yes, they look awesome and they're intricate and they have all these details, but it's just the scale of them is too tiny for me. So sometimes it's a little difficult for me to put together. That's just my personal opinion. I rather prefer the more simplistic high grade designs. I know it's kind of backwards. Wouldn't you want like a more detailed figure? But it's just easier for me. Although I do love the look of real grades. I just kind of don't always like putting them together. It's just the parts are too tiny. They fly out my hand. So that's just my personal opinion. So if you love real grades, you like what you like. I honestly prefer high grades, but you know, everyone's entitled to their own opinions. Here are some sides of the box. All these cool poses. Let's see if there's any. Okay, what I love about the New York kits is that it comes with English, so you can actually read what is on the box. So here, it's just showing advanced MS joints used for the wings, so going over some of the gimmicks. So not a whole lot of detail written in English, but it gives you a general gist of what you're gonna be building. So I'm pretty excited to put this guy together. He's gonna to be at the top of my list, but of course I'm going to be doing the ARC-78 2 first, just because he's my favorite. All right, so next up we have is the high-grade Desai. He's new, newly released, and of course I had to get him again 
to complete my wing collection and I'm pretty sure they're gonna be releasing him in a real grade. They have to, they release a whole bunch of um, wing real grades. So, you know, the other wing Gundams need to get some love too. But that's just my personal opinion. So yes, I had to acquire him. Let me show you the size of the box. Now, honestly, I really like this design of Death Side. You know, Death Side's been hit or miss for me because I really don't like those kind of Joker-ish kind of clown shoes with like the tips. I've never been really a fan of that. I just don't like that design on the feet. It like really just, I don't know. I really don't like it. So this one does not. So I'm pretty excited to add them to my collection because I do have only one other Death Side. It is a Master Grade. And again, I didn't really like it too much. So yeah, I'm looking forward to putting this card together. All right, next up is a little bit of an older kit, but I did not have in my collection, so I wanted it. And here is the Shining Gundam. This is another show I watched as a child. I had no idea what was going on, but I thought the fights were awesome, and that's all I remember. So I really don't know too much about this kit, and of course, everything is in Japanese. So, yeah. Now, I did have some action figures. Um, I believe I have this. Is it this one? And all gold. I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't remember. But I do remember I had a couple of like Gundam action figures back in the day. And he had this gold hand. Um, gold. Green hand. But he was completely gold. And I think he had like some kind of core pilot. Or yeah, for like a backpack. I don't know if you guys can kind of help narrow that down in the comments. But I did. I do. I'm pretty sure it was this guy. And he was fully gold with that gold hand. Gold, oh my God. Green hand, what is wrong with me today? So I really wonder how this kit is going to look like once he's put together, because I know he's an older one. If anything, I can always paint and add a little bit of detail if I feel he looks a little bland. No. So before I continue with the rest of today's unboxing, I want to give a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video, NordVPN. NordVPN is a virtual private network with over 52,000 servers in over 59 different countries. NordVPN helps keep your data safe and encrypted when browsing on the internet, so those pesky Earth Federation soldiers can hack you. Jokes aside, with NordVPN, you'll be able to watch any show or have any access that may be blocked in your country on streaming platforms like Netflix or Hulu. With one NordVPN, you'll be able to connect up to six different devices, whether it be your phone, laptop, or even iPad, with absolutely no bandwidth logging. It only takes a click to connect and there's even a 30 day money back guarantee. So make sure you go to my link nordvpn.com slash or use my code gumplomelly to get yourself a two year plan plus a bonus gift with a huge discount. Thank you again to NordVPN for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so I unfortunately had to put Bowser away because he was just being very bad and being a puppy as usual and I cannot watch him and film this at the same time. So perhaps maybe in another video I can introduce you guys better to him. But for now, let me continue with the unboxing. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, I am actually a huge horse person. I love horses. I used to ride them when I was younger and I just love them. So that might give, that, that may give a hint to the next kit I will be showing you guys. Drum roll please. That is this guy right here, again, from the same franchise as the other one. This one is Master Gundam and is it pronounced Fuun Saki or Fuun Saki? No, Fuun Saiki, sorry, Fuun Saiki. So is it Fuun Saiki or Fuun Saiki? Let me know. But I honestly, again, I have no idea about this kit and like the other one, like I said, but I remember this being some kind of fighting tournament show. Um, kind of interesting uh, because it's totally not like your typical Gundam politics, war, this and that. I think this was a fighting tournament show and it's a Gundam on a, is this a Gundam? Hmm, I don't know. Mobile suit Gundam, um, but it's on a horse. So that was, I honestly don't like the design of this guy. I'm just gonna call him a Gundam to make it easier. Oh, Master Gundam. I just read that and okay. Sometimes I make no sense. So yes, I do not like the design of this Gundam. I'm pretty sure this was the villain. I just think he looks so ugly and I do not like that shape of his head. It's got like a cone coming from the head. I don't know, it's a very funky design. 
I'm not feeling it, but I just got it for the horse because it's a freaking horse. Is a horse considered a Gundam too? Right here? I don't know. Is there a pilot in the horse? So many questions, so little answers. Like, is it a robot? Is it a, is it piloted? Like, are the reins beam sabers? What in the world? I'm so intrigued, so intrigued. I've always seen this kind of floating around this kit and so I finally bit the bullet and I really am just excited to put the horse one. I mean, I'm gonna do both, of course, cause I gotta do this iconic pose. But yeah, I'm like very intrigued. Oh, and look, here's a shiny Gundam in the background. Okay, so moving on to the next kit. I got the old school high grade new Gundam. Again, I don't know, I would guess I was just kind of feeling like the older classic designs that did build the real grade of this and it was chef kiss, absolutely fantastic. Even though I said I'm not a big fan of real grades, he was an awesome figure. And I kind of just really like, look how chonky this guy looks. Like he's a chonkster. And that's what I think I do like about like these older designs is they're very kind of like chonky looking. I feel like they're more in, in line with like their anime counterpart, if that makes sense. I, I don't know if I'm making sense, but you kind of know what I mean, right? They're like old school feeling because I guess they are older kids, so that would make sense. So I kind of wanted to try putting this one together and kind of see, you know, maybe do a comparison between this one and the real grade. Just an idea. So there's that. Here I have another old school kit. Ta-da! Yeah, clearly this, this unboxing is a lot of old kits, except for two, I guess, right? The Death Side and the Real Grade Wing. So here's another old one. And I have some crazy ideas that I want to do to this kit. I actually have not built this one before, and I got the red version, but it doesn't matter. I just got any colored version I saw I just add to my cart because I'm actually going to be painting this guy. And I might do a video on it. No, more likely I will do a video. I just have so many ideas in my head. Not enough time. It'd be awesome if doing Gunpla stuff could be my full-time job, but it doesn't pay my bill. So when eventually on one of my days off, I plan on painting this guy and I kind of want to do a crazy kind of like 80s themed paint job, like neon colors. And just because like his legs are so wide like right here, they kind of scream like, you know, bell bottoms to me or like maybe not 80s, maybe even like 70s. So I was thinking of doing kind of like a really funky coloring to him. But yeah, that's just my ideas, speaking out loud to the camera, you know, my craziness. Like why would I want to do a, you know, robot in like 80s themed colors? I don't know, but I thought it would be cool. So there's that. Okay, and lastly, I know what you guys have all been waiting for is what kit am I going to be giving away next on my channel to my awesome subscribers and those of you. So according to my analytics, analytics don't lie, there is a crap ton of you guys that watch my channel but, don't, but aren't subscribed. It takes two seconds. Just go right there and hit the subscribe button, please. Help a girl out. I'm trying to get to 200,000 and it's like I'm almost there but not there and it's my goal by the end of the year. So, y'all, subscribe. Just, there's a hope, like a huge percentage of you guys are not subscribed but come back to watch every single video. Okay, so the giveaway in today's video, it's nothing major but I thought it'd be pretty cool. So, Ta-da! It is the Real Grade Wing, the new kit that just came out. Well, depending on when I film this video, newly released, hopefully. So as always, you guys should know the rules to my giveaways. One, be subscribed. Two, like the video. And three, comment down below what is your ideal wing kit, or not ideal, but which wing kit do you want to be released in the Real Grade line? That's it, pretty simple, and you have a chance to get this kit from me. And maybe I could even sign the back of the box if you guys want to. So yes, that is it too for, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing and listened to me talk about all the kits. And I am definitely going to be putting that RX-78 version two 
First, because again, I have a special display coming in the mail and I want him built so I can review that display for you guys because it was kind of expensive. It was like $40, but I think it's totally worth it. And I'm pretty excited because I didn't see a lot of information of this display. Okay, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna stop talking because I don't wanna spoil anything for you guys. So as always, I wanna give a huge thank you to New Type for always sponsoring my channel. So make sure you use my link down in the description below if you guys are gonna shop for them. Anyways, that's it for today's video and I will see you guys around for the next one. Adios. And a big thank you to all the people from my Patreon for supporting my channel. And a huge thank you to all my Ultimate fans who are Bilbo Jack 4, David Sakura, Gary Green, Jason Franklin Pergerger, Jim Hernandez, Madi, Mad Villain, and Michael Lyons. Thank you guys so much.